Tense moments today as two brush fires flare up in San Diego County. One burning dangerously close to homes, the other scorching hundreds of acres. Welcome to the 10 o'clock news. I'm Marcella Lee and I'm Jesse Pagan. Both of these broke out around 2 p.m. Chopper 8 was over the canyon fire in Mira Mesa. You can see flames and thick smoke crawling towards homes. Crews were able to get a handle on it and we'll have that full story coming up. But first, let's talk about the Mesa fire burning near Palo Casino. This one popped up off State Route 76 about a mile west of Pala Temecula Road in Pala Mesa and has since burned about 350 acres. News 8's LaMonica Peters has been tracking this fire. She joins us now with an update on evacuation warnings in the area. And LaMonica, what can you tell us tonight? Well, the evacuation warnings have been lifted, but the crews continue to work to contain the fire. The temporary evacuation points have been closed, but Highway 76 has been reopened. Now, earlier today, there was a much different scene here. First units that scene arrived and they noticed that the fire was potentially 20 to 30 acres with a dangerous rate of spread moving up slope. About 2.30 Wednesday afternoon, Cal Fire says they were notified about a vegetation fire in Pala Mesa and they immediately noticed how fast the fire was growing. Captain Lococo says firefighters made good progress throughout the day using water, air tankers, bulldozers and fire engines to douse the flames. With a few hot spots remaining, he says crews will continue working overnight to increase containment and ensure that the fire can no longer spread. I'd like to see or like to think that we're going to get some containment throughout the night, maybe in the morning, but we definitely have several days of work based on the steep terrain and the size of the fire. We have a lot of work to still do. Lococo says though there's no threat to homes in Pala Mesa, now is a good time for people throughout San Diego County to make sure they're prepared for a potential wildfire and or evacuation. Just because we have cooler temperatures and some precipitation doesn't necessarily mean the risk of fire is gone. As you can see today, we had rain throughout the county in certain areas. We have higher humidities, but we still have a relatively large fire that burned. People are still being asked to drive cautiously when they enter this area, but all is clear. Now, if you want more information on fire readiness, you can just go to our website at CBS8.com.